channel and to a full kitchen tour. I'm finally filming this for you guys. I know you've already seen parts of it in update videos and cooking videos, but this has been so highly requested to actually have a good look around, see inside the cupboards, look at our storage and talk about why we made some of the decisions that we did. So I hope you really enjoy seeing around our dream kitchen. I'm also gonna show you some really good before and afters as well of the space, because it's completely transformed. This actually used to be our outside conservatory. So I'll show you all of that, but before we do jump into the tour, I wanted to say a massive thank you to today's sponsor, HelloFresh. You guys know I love HelloFresh. We've used them for years. And as much as I like cooking, sometimes it is such an effort to research recipes, get inspired, meal plan, go grocery shopping, all of it. So if I ever feel like I actually want a bit of a break or a little bit of help, HelloFresh make cooking completely stress-free. The way that it works is you go onto their website. Each week they have over 40 recipes to choose from and something literally to suit everyone. So you choose the meals that you want. You also say how many people you're cooking for and then it just arrives at your door as if by magic and all of the ingredients come pre-portioned out so you only get exactly what you need for each recipe. So it cuts down on wastage, cuts down on prep time and you also get the step-by-step -step recipe cards to follow along with. The instructions are so easy to follow and I actually save my favorite recipe cards so I can remake them in the future and they also give me meal planning inspiration. So they do so many different types of meals on their website that I could recommend a few to you. My favorite are probably the family friendly meals. They've got such a good selection of meals for the kids and they're not only easy to prepare but they're also really tasty and they will literally please even the pickiest eater. So I'd say family friendly are great and then I also really love the rapid meals. Rapid meals means they are ready in less than 20 minutes so often you don't even have to turn the oven on. They'll be like in a one pan sometimes and I find they're so quick. You know, on like busy evenings when you have loads of clubs on and stuff, I really love the rapid meals. But they also do vegetarian meals. They do ones if you're, you know, watching calories, etc. There's so many on there. They even do lunches, sides, desserts as well. They really do offer a lot. Okay, so if you want to spend less time food shopping, meal planning, and cooking, I can highly recommend HelloFresh to you guys. It would be perfect for the half term that's coming up and I have an amazing discount code for you. If you use my code EMILYNORRIS60, that will get you 60% off of your first HelloFresh box and then a further 25% off for two months and free gifts as well. It's an amazing offer. So I'll put all of my links in the description down below. And I wanna say a huge thank you to HelloFresh for making my life easier, but also for sponsoring this video. Uh, but now let's get into the kitchen tour. Yeah, so welcome to my dream kitchen. To give you a bit of background, when we moved in two years ago, the original kitchen was in the middle of the house and it was a really, really dark space. And we always knew that eventually we would like to move it to be at the back of the house so that we could see the kids playing in the garden, we could take in the view, we get the sunset at the back and we actually just wanted more natural light in the kitchen. So Matt and the builders worked out that we could have the kitchen on this side of the house and by having it on this side we could also have our dream of a pantry which is actually behind this wall so I'll show you that in a second. Yes yeah, so where I'm stood right now is where the old conservatory was and it looked really nice on videos but it wasn't that usable. It was freezing cold in the winter and then it was boiling hot in the summer. We could only really use it for like three or four months a year. So we knew we wanted to make it like a proper extension and then we got all the planning and all of that. And if you've been following me for years, then you may remember our old house was all open plan and we really wanted to recreate that again in this house because we just find with family living, it's so nice to all be in the same room together have loads of space and we pretty much live in here so it's kind of our living dining area we also have big sliding doors and I forgot to mention my husband Matt is behind the camera he's got a mic on as well he'll be able to talk a bit more about like the boring structural stuff Thanks. like that <laughs> no yeah so we did actually there there's like a pocket so all these doors can like 
slide into that that there so it looks like we've like clumsily like put this unit here but actually that houses that but it also means there's not like a massive piece of glass on the kitchen so like you can see it's a bright room anyway um, but we consciously didn't want glaring light on the kitchen because it can make it too bright and uh, especially in the summer because we're south facing pretty much so you don't want too much light on the on the actual kitchen area mm -hmm. and then that's why we just put the windows in there so it's actually quite a big window around the sink and yeah. then we've got a big skylight as well which bounces a load of light onto this area yeah because we did a small extension upstairs but not on this on that part area of the, the house. extension comes to about like there and then runs along there so it means that we could put that there sits yeah. nicely so let's start out with the focal point in the kitchen this is the island we always knew that we wanted one for the kids and us to sit and eat at hang out at while we're cooking and stuff so we got this and we actually decided not to have any appliances on the island like in our previous home we had a sink on that area and it was always like splashing out at people so we kind of decided not to have that the size of it is a question we actually get asked a lot and it is 1.6 by 2.5 meters the worktops that we went for we took so long to decide but in the end we went for this quartz suede finish it feels really nice it feels almost like dry it's hard to explain um, but it's really really nice and I feel like I don't know it hides mess quite well yeah. and it's just a really really great work top we also took a chance and went for a wooden island we took inspiration from farmhouse kitchens like a lot of american kitchens and matt fell in love with a wooden island uh, but i was nervous on how it would look next to the wooden floor but it actually kind of works, so it's okay. We always kind thought, of. worst case, we could paint it, didn't we? Yeah. Um, and we then we it. went for antique brass handles on everything. This is from a place called Corsten. There's a ton of storage under here, so I'll show you inside the cupboards in a sec. But I also wanted to show you that we got five seats. That was obviously important, being a family of five. We got five seats around the island. We've got three here and then two here. So often as a family, we'll just eat up here um, we've got a dining table there but it's just nice it's very social to all sit here and then these chairs were from a place called by Cree were they not by Cray yeah by yeah. Cray um, I'll link as much as I can down below for you guys they're quite cool because you can customize those yeah um, like we obviously went for the black because there's not much black in it it's a nice accent but then obviously the tan leather sort of ties in a bit with the wood and stuff yeah there's loads of color options underneath the island that like, we actually took ages trying to decide where everything was going to go we learned a lot from previous kitchen remodels this is actually the fourth that we've done isn't it so we feel like we finally got it right well if you include the uh <laughs> kitchen in the front room that's five oh know, yeah the temporary <laughs> kitchen. Um, yeah yeah so over here we have recycling and bins in here they just pull out um, and you can actually take the bins out just there so it's pretty handy then over in here we have all of our tin foil parchment paper cling film all of that I got these on Amazon and I kind of love them a little bit um, and then we've got two snack drawers for the kids this is like their absolute favorite so all of their crisps and stuff like that they've got a couple of drawers here and even a little bit more in the pantry over on this side we have our drawers you'll find in our kitchen we just went for drawers for everything got our cutlery drawer and they made this insert the people that made the kitchen made this insert for all of the things that we wanted then we've got all of our plates bowls all of that stuff and then all of our Tupperware like really this is for meal prepping and the kids lunches and stuff like that There's some cutting boards in we there. actually we I Yes. Had the drawer made the perfect height so that the cutting boards would close so yeah. that it didn't have to be up and show being the psycho so that extra. I am. I know, I love it though, it's and amazing. Like extra or are you basic? No, but it feels like there is a real place for everything. And then on the corner here, we had something. This is actually the girl that designed a lot of stuff for us, came up with this concept of putting on this island just these, these shelves here just to break up the space. So she sort of said, like, to try and avoid having solid like cabinets everywhere, doors, mm. um, etc. So that, hence we've got some glass on here as well, just some different yeah. textures and tones just to 
break it up. So I know what I'm talking about, but uh, it yeah, actually really no, works because there's so much going on here, but it actually breaks it all up because it's such a big space. Actually, the kitchen guy said I've never, like, there's so many different parts to the kitchen. Yeah, and until like, we actually did it, he was like, like I didn't think it'd work, and then once like, he got it all in. Yeah. Okay, so like we said, there's all yeah. the glass doors here. Yeah, so we've got this here, which is all storage for, like, crockery, really. Yeah, like serving stuff. Yeah, serving stuff, gravy, moat. We actually painted um, this dark in here yeah. just to sort of mix it up. I think it works. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, big bowls. That's like, more like entertaining stuff, isn't it? It's nice, nice ribbed doors as well on the. You can see the glass. Really dirty. Just, yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to work my way around because I feel like there's a lot to show you guys. But in here, we have a little fridge, which is kind of like our breakfast fridge. So we have milks. Butter, it was actually amazing at Christmas. We just filled it full of drinks and everyone could just like help themselves. So it was really handy to have this small fridge because we do have a big fridge over there. So that's really handy because then it's next to this kind of breakfast station. This is similar to what we had in our old kitchen um, in our previous house. We have these folding doors. Um, and then it hides away all of the breakfast stuff. So we've got a microwave and an oven, our toaster, our coffee maker as well. We've got our blender. It's all kind of hidden away in here. And then these drawers are also perfect for this area because we've got all of our coffee, tea, hot chocolate. Again, we had our kitchen guys make an insert, which is like the perfect size of the tea bag. It is just so satisfying. All of our cups, teaspoons, like really tried to think of everything we would need in this space. Um, so we've got that, then we've got more storage for like coffee cups to go out with. The ugly cups. Loads of hot chocolate, the ugly cups go in here, <laughs> the kids' cups. Um, and then this drawer is probably my favorite. This is where all the kids' water bottles, um, school lunch bags, there's an exact spot for them, which is amazing. Um, so that can just be hidden away. And then in here, we don't have a bread bin, we have a bread drawer because we have a ton of it. And then we've also got cereals in here for the kids. Cheerios, Weetabix, that kind of thing is in here. It's just really handy. And then obviously when you're not using it, you can just hide it all away. Um, it's quite good yeah. if you had a really messy morning, isn't it? Yeah, you're just um, like, oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> sort of your breakfast station. Like we said, the, the fridge is there, so it's really convenient. And then we finished this in the wood, like to match the island, just to yeah. sort of break this up, because we knew it's quite a bulky piece of furniture, because it's actually as deep, like it's obviously a lot deeper than say this unit here, because it's got that combi oven and uh, coffee machine in it. Mm. Um, yeah, we love it. It's really practical. Yeah. We're sort of saying this area here. Yeah, this one. It's like just the busiest area of the house really, isn't it? I mean, yeah. it's like where everything happens. Yeah, yeah, um, there's always like people making food and stuff, but it's really handy. In here, we have another little bin. So if you are making food, dishwasher. the bin's right here. Yeah, the dishwasher is here. So when you're emptying the dishwasher, you're pretty much just emptying it into here and there. So it makes it really, really quick to kind of empty it. It's really handy. The rugs. We love this. We actually get a lot of questions about these runners. They're from Ruggable, um, which is great because they're washable. And we actually find this rug gets dirtier than this one because there's yeah. so much traffic. So when it does, we just chuck it into the washing machine, uh, which is really great. Then we've got a little shelf up here, um, like a little decorative shelf. We didn't know exactly what to put on it. We're kind of still working on accessorizing, but we've got some cutting boards, some bowls, this little pair from Primark as well. It's like matching quartz to like the worktops. Yeah. So like this is, obviously you said about it there, didn't you? Like suede worktops. So we got the kitchen guy or the worktop guys to make that little piece to match. Um, and then we got some like shelf brackets that match the handles. Yeah, and it was really nice. They made us, with like offcuts, they made us two cutting boards with the worktop. And they gave us a good tip. They was like, if you're ever not sure about a product on your worktop, yeah, like, put it on just that. try it <laughs> on, the, on that little sample. So I don't know, like some sort of sauce or curry yeah. or something. Yeah, or like something hot, you can put it on yeah. that. So like it's quite handy. Yeah. yeah. And then obviously here, we've got our sink area. There's the window, really, really deep, like, what is it? What is this? 
ledge. Really deep ledge. Seal. Yeah, they always sometimes have flowers on and stuff. Um, you can see the kids on the trampoline, which is really, really handy. And then when it came to the sink, we just decided to just go for one big sink basin. Previously, we've had like two, but it's always a bit tricky to wash big pots. So we were like, you know what? Let's just go for one big one. And then we had this little drying rack um, just from Amazon on here, which is really handy. We didn't get the grooves put into the worktop because those drying grooves, they don't really do much, do they? No, and like, <laughs> so you, we were like when you do use yeah. it, they just make horrible stains. So we always found, yeah, well, we actually like didn't cleaning. do it in the last house because of it as well, yeah. but like we find that you just end up trying to clean it. So we was like, you know what? Yeah. Let's actually make it look more, look nicer. And yeah, so we tried to dry yeah. stuff on here. And then we actually went for a cooker tap this time. In our previous house, we didn't, and it was one of our biggest regrets, but I think it was the cost of it. That That's was, a hot tap. It's a hot tap, yeah. So you can basically just push it down, and you have instant, yeah, instant boiling water. So it's great when you're cooking or you're making a coffee or a tea. My sister loved it when she visited as well. And I found out that the inventor of this kind of tap was also the inventor of cup of soup. He wanted to make it so that people could have cup of soup quicker. And I just found that really interesting. interesting. Um, yeah, so we've got that and we went for it in black and then it's also got the pull out head. So if you're washing or you're doing like fruit and veg, that was something we also really wanted, wasn't it? We also really wanted to get a workstation sink. I don't know if you've seen them. They're bigger in America, I think. But you get like a drying rack, a cutting board, a straining area as well. And we were nearly going to buy one and get it imported in. But then, once we looked on Amazon and we saw you could get a drying rack and you could get a strainer that just extends to any sink, we thought actually that would probably be enough for what we wanted and, and then you can put it away to, yeah and you can put it away and you don't have to spend a load of money on it and they so did do pink of, in the work session <laughs> yeah so we've kind of got those little accessories um then under the sink there is a ton of storage which is amazing for all of our cleaning products and i love these little inserts on the door which are really handy for cleaning products because often i'm just reaching for a dishwasher tablet or a multi-surface spray so i can kind of just open it grab it and that's it love that like there's just a ton of storage which is great and then over here this is a cupboard we haven't used loads but i've got all of my cookbooks in there at the moment. Hello Fresh cards and a few treats that were hiding from the kids in this area. Um, and then there's also a cupboard here with pretty much vitamins, spreads, goodies, and some like sauces, soy sauce. And we've got it on a little Lazy Susan, so it can like spin around. Poor old Susan, um, yeah, so this, they're lazy. <laughs> so that's that covered. And then these drawers, we have all of our, oh, that's a bit messy. We have all of our tea towels in here and aprons and stuff. And then this is where we keep all of our pots and pans. Again, love pots and pans in the drawer. I find it just so easy to Next access. To the yeah, we've got strainers. And then in here, we've got like cooking bowls that kind of thing another pan so that's that got our cake stand this was from john Lewis, no cakes it? amazon uh, yeah can't remember cool. i wanted a cake stand without the high bit so we should probably say about the uh these shelves here so we had the worktop guys make a little shelf out of the same material and just sort of stuck on then it makes a bit of a feature um, Emmy's not sure about some of my choices of things that go on there. No. But um, <laughs> no, we, we get the idea. Think... We kept seeing kitchens that we liked, didn't we, that had that. Yeah. Um, and then these library lights that are obviously, we have one over above that shelf as well. Um, yeah, it gives nice lighting at yeah. night. I think there was this one Studio McGee kitchen and it had, it had this hood and it had those two things and we were like, we want that. Yeah. Um, but I think over time we'll probably get the right accessories. We've still got some Christmas what bits. Well, we've still got Christmas because we're like, it's going to be Christmas. empty. They're, always, they're Nordic. <laughs> yeah, and then this is the cooker hood. Yeah. Um, Matt chose this, to you? Yeah, again, yeah. that was like Studio McGee. They seem to do it. It's a big thing in the US. We have like, they call it yeah. a plastered hood. Ours isn't actually plastered. It's actually made out of, of wood of some sort and painted. But yeah, we just love the look of that. Yeah. It's obviously just extraction. Yeah. Um, and then Emily's favourite drawer. Oh yes, this is the spice drawer, which I've shown on my socials. What are they doing there? 
Can you tell what I told you? Oh my god. <laughs> um, so yeah, we've got all of our spices here. We've got this little tilted insert so that you can see it all, which I love. Um, and then if we get enough spices, we can do it in the other drawer over here, because at the moment it's just a bit random, to be honest. The it's just got like drawer. oven gloves and a few bits in there. And then we've got a little pull out here, which I love, which is all of our utensils. So it's right next to the oven. And while you're cooking, you can just grab anything that you need and then just chuck it away again. Um, so yeah, love that. And then on this side of the oven, we have another little pull out to match. And in this one, we've got all of our salt, pepper, oils, for cooking, we've also got some rice in here because we use it so often. Got our Worcestershire Shire shot in there. Um, and then the oven choice, I feel like that was a tricky choice, wasn't it? Yeah, colour, style, gas, electric. Yeah. Obviously gas or electric are a bit rubbish at the moment, but um, yes. this, is, a <laughs> this com is both. It's a combination, so I guess that was, was hedging our bets. Yeah. So we've got gas top. Yeah, but um, you can also use electric. Mainly because of this here, yeah, which is an induction, so you've got that as extra. Yes, but yeah, there's a ton of space. Like we hosted Christmas for 18 people, and we had loads of room, didn't we, Dom? Yeah, it's great. So it is amazing. Then in this drawer, we have our amazing junk drawer of dreams. We've always had a junk drawer, but this one just feels really organized. So we had an insert made, so we've got a spot for our pens, measuring tape, stamps to put on uniform, Birthday stuff. You know, you're always like, I need a birthday candle. There you go. Um, so it's all, everything's got a, a place in here and it's just so handy. Um, and then in here, we've got all of our kind of, what is this? Whiskey <laughs> things. Random bits. Yeah. Scales. You know, scales. Like it is a bit random in here. Very handy to have that space. And then here we've just got my really big pots for if I'm like making a chili. These are really for meal prepping, muffin tins, that kind of thing is in here. Then up here we have a bit more storage for sauces. Um, what have we got? Another little Lazy Susan here. Gravy, what is it? Slimy peaches, Jackson calls them. Um, that is all in here. And then obviously we've got our fridge. I think I did a whole video on this fridge if you wanna check it out, but it's quite a cool one. Lights up, it's got a door on the front if you just wanna grab milk, but then it's got a bigger section that you can open out to. And then the freezer on this side. Above the fridge, we've got this huge cupboard, which is a great hiding spot. Sometimes I put like HelloFresh up there. Um, also, we hid some Christmas presents up there when it was Christmas time and stuff. Um, it's a huge space. We've also got a fire extinguisher if we ever need it. And then on the end of the kitchen, we have these shelves which I feel like we've not really styled. Again, we kind of need to get there with accessories and pictures got and stuff. Got your YouTube play button though, haven't you? Oh, I've got that on display. Yeah. So with this area, we was a bit yeah. unsure, weren't we, when it, even when it turned up, because we did, I think the yeah. Abby had designed it, the, the designer, yeah. and we'd be like, oh, I'm not sure about that. Then once we actually got it up and like started dressing, it was like, it's a really nice feature and it really breaks up the room yeah. and makes the space more personal because we can put sort of like achievements on there and pictures and stuff. Yeah, yeah, it is really nice. If the kids get a certificate at school, we kind of like put it over here. Um, and I think we will get there with maybe some books or like, you know, those coffee table books. That's what I'm envisaging yeah. eventually. But I have my play button because whenever the kids have a play date, their friends are so excited about that you're such a cool mom <laughs> i've got it on display and i just um, pretend that i won the world cup for england <laughs> and then under here i keep all of like the baking <laughs> stuff because it's a little bit trickier to get to but it's huge really good hide and seek place as well yeah, emmy's always in there jackson's in there quite a lot to be honest um but there's just a ton of space under here so we've got like Food colouring, um, cooling racks, huge cutting boards, all of that kind of thing. We actually had to make that space because they kept hiding under there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's where Jackson sits. Um, so that's that. And then over here, we have a little bar area. This room used to actually come out to here, but we actually didn't need it to be that big. So we moved it and then we could have this bar space. So we've got a ton of storage in here. 
It's got basically candles and some drink under there. And then there's a little wine fridge, which we actually don't have on all the time. We just turn it on if we're having company, like we had it on in Christmas and stuff like that. Um, but that is really handy. And then we've got some cupboards up here for like fancy glasses. Um, well, just all glassware really, like wine glasses and stuff like that. It's all up here and we painted it a different color to kind of make it feel like a different section, didn't we? Yeah. And then we also got this, what is this doll? Cage. Like mesh. Mesh. Mesh caged door. So you can sort of see through, but it's just another texture um, yeah. to the space. Yes. Like we said about breaking up all that, the blank cupboards and stuff. Yeah, and then we got mirrored splash back here. You might remember our old kitchen had that, uh, but we got antique mirror, so it's not as as clear, just like something bit, different. Bit of a bar vibe. Bar vibes Next over to here. the playroom, so as the boys get older, that becomes oh, no. that. Yeah. <laughs> don't say that. You can have a beer um, whilst they're playing. Like the Christmas, this was like a really busy area, don't yeah, you think? Yeah, exactly. But it's also like, like somewhere to put the drink as well, and it keeps it out of the yeah. out of the main drag. We should probably yes. say about um, paint colours as well. I know. I was thinking that because this so, was that on trend paint colour, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah. So that's little green Pompeian ash. Yeah. Yeah. I can't remember. Obviously, you remember. No, but what was this one? That's Portland that's stone. It. Portland stone. And then the walls are Portland stoned pale. Yeah. So it all kind of ties in. Yes. And um, we nearly forgot. You didn't forget. <laughs> I have did. done a whole video Saving on the this best of last. room. Obviously, this is a it's a door. It looks like a cupboard door, but it is our hidden pantry. So you can just push it open and then the light just turns on. And this is our pantry. So yeah, I've done a whole video on this space if you want to check it out. Um, but yes, we've got like labeled jars with all of our dry ingredients which is really handy and then we've got also like other backup foods this whole cupboard is for the dog food the dog treats the dog clothes like all of it goes in there and then we've also managed to squeeze in a washing machine it's actually on at the moment mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we've got like loads of baskets more storage and a few appliances and i forgot to show you this in the breakfast bar but we've got these little sliders for them you just get them on amazon so if you want to pull an appliance out so like the air fryer actually pushes a lot of heat out the back so we tend to just like pull it forward and use it that way but it's really nice that it's in here because we can just close the door so you don't get the noise and our slow cookers here our kitchen aid as well and then we've got even more storage on this side of the room like all of our cans um pasta that kind of thing and actually this command center is a new addition to the room this just arrived we actually ordered it on etsy um i haven't written anything on it for this video um but this is where i'm going to put like all the kids like clubs you can write your meal plan and any notes so I think that's going to be really handy and I thought it'd be nice in here kind of hidden away but I come in here quite a lot and there's also a door that goes outside to the doggy bath so when we walk the dog we bring her back this way wash her off bring her in here chuck her coat in the wash like it all feels organized which I'm really pleased about it's all working the way you know we really want it to be functional practical and it actually kind of is so yeah i think that's everything isn't it yeah, to show you guys so. yeah. in this space or maybe except for this vase we just got this arrangement it's huge so we've got this big vase and then these like faux blueberries we need to get something in the bottom of it to kind of like zhuzh it up a bit <laughs> need to like kind of arrange it but really pleased with how it looks um, so yeah, I think that's everything we wanted to show you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed having a look around our new kitchen. Ask me any questions you have because I know when you're planning a kitchen, it is really daunting. Um, and yeah, we'll see you in our next one. Oh, and don't forget the HelloFresh code is in the description. Um, but yeah, see you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye, guys.